Doing this stuff? I'm only gonna be on this shit for like 15 minutes. Cause we gotta do that call with JoJo. We gotta, we got some things. You we gotta, gotta do, do um, Photoshop like a meme? Uh, yeah, for the most part. You Photoshop me for us? Yeah, uh, it dropped into my computer. It gotta be some funny shit. What's up? What's up? Love from London, love your music. Ooh. Thank you. I appreciate that. I don't know if y'all know what today is, but I'm back with the vibes. You gotta tell me what to write on it, too. I'm back with the vibes. You know the vibes, Mental Health Monday vibes. Happy New Year to everybody. Hold on, I'm sorry guys. I'm just writing this out. But yeah, happy happy new year, happy holidays. All of that that just passed. Let's start 2020 off right. Remember before I start this, if you need help, call the cops. <laughs> call the ambulance. But now nah, today I'm gonna be talking about an illness that deals with being afraid of change. And this is called metathesiophobia. Once again, it's called metathesiophobia. Metathesiophobia is the fear of change. The reason why I picked this topic at hand is because we are in a new decade. It's not just a new year. It's a whole new decade. 2020 in our roaring 20s and it's time for a lot of us to get out of our comfort zones, I feel personally, especially me. Speaking from experience, I've just been in too much of a comfort zone lately. And when you're comfortable, you you like have no room to grow because you're just so content with where you are in life. So I decided to... I didn't really know much about this topic. But I decided that this would be important to talk about because I feel like a lot of people are, are, have fear of change somehow, some way. And a, a prime example was that of leaving college and really stepping into real life without having all your ducks in a row at first. Because a vast majority of college graduates... Oh. <laughs> A vast majority of college graduates usually have no idea what they're going to do after college. Some of them haven't even picked majors. You feel me? But, nah, it's really real. You got to, like, adapt to change, be able to adapt to change. And basically what metathesiophobia is, like I said, in layman terms, is not being able to adapt to new things. New things in life, we just, you know, we get we, we get challenged with new things all the time. I feel like my personal experience with me just moving, I just moved to Georgia. And if you know me personally, you know that I don't like, I, I don't like doing certain things. I don't like going to clubs and I don't like, I don't even like, I don't, it's, I'm, I'm kind of like a some a anti-social person sometimes. It may not seem like it, but. For the most part, that's my life. But in order for me to be where I want to be, I know that I'm I'm going to have to do certain things, like the politics of the industry that I'm in. And the politics in this industry is basically you have to go out and rub shoulders and shake hands with people that you're not, you, you wouldn't really necessarily shake hands with on a day-to-day -day basis. But to get where you need to be, you have to do certain things. It's basically what the situation is at hand. And I feel like, personally, for me, that's, getting out of a comfort zone and not necessarily being afraid of that change because I was able to adapt to that <clears throat> before 2020 came. But with my mindset, 2020, the money coming, the numbers up, I feel like that's real. Like the manifestation behind that is really real, in my opinion. And I feel like the wrong 20s, a new, dec a new decade, it should be, this is kind of like a clean slate for everybody. I feel like we should all take time out to really 
dive deep into whatever it is we want to carry out, any goals, any tasks, whatever we have in our minds set in stone, we need to really just come, like, niggas really got to snap into it. Not snap out of it, but we got to snap into it. You feel me? Because it's so easy to get comfortable. Like, I'm about to get a studio put in my crib, but I was having a meeting today and I was still saying to myself, I'm going to make sure I, I still tap in to what's going on outside of my house because it's easy to have a studio in your crib and then, oh, shit, I'm tired. I can go to sleep. You're not wasting no money. None of that is, you're not bothered by anything because you're in the comfort of your home. You're in the comfort of your own space. So when you, once you get out of that comfort zone and you're uncomfortable, you treat everything like you're hungry and you have nothing, this is the mentality that I'm trying to go into everything with. It's like I'm starting from ground level. I'm starting from ground level and I'm coming up. The, this is a new decade. Everything behind me is behind me. I'm not trying to go back. I have new strategic plans. My whole mantra for this decade, and I'm trying to keep it for the rest of my life, is consistency, manifestation, and strategy. I feel like those three elements in life can bring you a long way. If you be consistent with whatever it is you got your mind to, it's an automatic win because one day it's going to pick up. Being strategic with whatever it is you're trying to be consistent with, you got to have a plan. And a lot of times in my life, with a lot of shit, a lot of my successes and whatever the situation may be, I would just wing it a lot of the time. It's just a bunch of winging. Like, I don't have no real strategy, no thought pattern, no plan. It's just I have an idea and I'm going to carry it out. And a lot of times when I do carry out these tasks, it'll go right for a moment. Like, I start up and it's just fire. It's like, oh, yeah, I really did it. I executed it. But then it's like the sustainability, it turns into something different, if you understand what I'm saying. Like, because I didn't think it all the way through. I didn't, I didn't plan like, and I'm being really personal with y'all right now. Grand example is my clothing line. I started a clothing line when I was 15 years old. Whatever the situation was, I wanted to make myself some money at a young age. I had a desire to never work for nobody in my life. I did it, right? Started the clothing line. I was making my money. I was young. I was seeing money that I wasn't expecting to see at such a young age. I'm still in high school at this time. And I'm just spending money on dumb shit. Like, not even trying to get my LLC, not even trying to get my name patent, the logo, trademark, whatever the case may be. And then as years progress, it's kind of like, all right, now what? And now if you pay attention to me, I don't even really make clothes no more. I still have everything, the whole God, glory, go thing. But now I just want to now I, I'm thinking about what I want to do before I just go out and do it. And that's the same thing with music. My biggest song, The West, there was really no plan behind that. Everything that happened with that song was an accident, but it was one of the greatest accidents that ever happened to me in my life. We shot the video at another video shoot, and it wasn't even a real video. It was just something quick, sporadic. We're going through this, this whole lot, and the song is playing, it's lit. The West, the song was an accident, the whole video was an accident, but the way it came out and what it did was just like, oh, so it's a beautiful accident. But say I tried that strategy again with something else and it didn't work the way that the West did. And that's because sometimes you really have to plan out the shit that you got going on for yourself. So once again, the term is metathesiophobia. It's metathesiophobia. Metathesiophobia is the cha- is the fear of change. I don't even have to explain the symptoms or anything like that to y'all because I feel like this is not this is not the topic to even be explaining what a symptom of. If you feel change, you know what the fear of change is. It's, it's anxiety. It's the same thing, but you just have a fear of change. You don't want to change nothing in your life. You don't want anything in your life to change. You're content with where you are in your life. You want to stay there for the rest of your life. And depending on... Where you at in life, that shit may work. But I feel like even if you are in a good space in life, it's something always has to change. You always have to grow. And I'm going to say the word growth. Growth is great change. And we all know that. This is not middle school. I don't have to explain to y'all why growth is great change. But growth indeed is great change. And we can't be scared to grow. As just our, this young generation, whatever... Whatever we consider millennials, Generation X, Y, Z, whatever they call us, we we are the future. You know that how they tell us that all the time. We the future, blah blah blah. 
Yes, we are. We cannot be scared of change. We got real life shit happening and we're turning into adults. It's getting crazy out here. We having bills. We having to take out loans for shit. We getting lines of credit. We having cars. We having cribs. We having full blown responsibilities now and it's just like, oh, it's getting real, but you have to be able to adapt because if you can't adapt, you'll always be stuck. That's one thing. I know me personally, I don't like being stuck. I don't like feeling stuck. I be wanting to punch shit when I feel like I'm stuck. When when I'm when I'm when I'm in a in a dark space that's not necessarily dark to the point where it's like negative vibes, negative energy, but dark in the sense of where I feel like I'm I'm stagnant or I'm just in one one spot. I tend to get rattled up by it, like annoyed, and I just my mind is just a big. I don't know if you ever seen that episode of Spongebob where he was in his mind and it was a million versions of him and he was going through file cabinets trying to figure out what it is he was thinking about. But that's what I feel like I, I go through. And from the end, from after my show on, on December 20th till now, I've been in this headspace where it's like, damn. And then we're only six days into the year, but this this is how I know that I, I'm I'm really dedicated to what I, what I, what I want to do with myself. Because... I be feeling like I'm just lost. Like I don't. I feel like I'm no good, damn near, when I'm just stuck. Stuck. And mind you, I just accomplished one of my greatest achievements. I just had the SOB show. I had a packed crowd. I had agents there. All types of shit. But now we had a new. I'm in a new year. I'm in a new decade. I'm in the roaring twenties. And to me, it's just like, all right, now what? Because like I said in the beginning, everything that I did that's behind me is literally behind me. What's coming? What's to come? And I have a bunch of shit planned. But even with moving in last month, I've been in my crib so much that it bothers me. Because I feel like it's a comfort zone. And I, and, and I feel like it's to a point where it's not even a fear of change. It's like I don't want nothing to change. I'm so comfortable in my own space. I was living, yo, I was literally like, I, I've always had somewhere to stay, so I'm not going to make it seem like I was homeless or nothing like that, but for the past, like, after college, I was saying, I've, I've been living out of my luggage because I've been traveling so much to different places. So this right now, me being home and having a new home and a new room, new bed, new everything, it's just like, like I said, it's a clean slate, so I'm already too comfortable. Only six days into the to the new decade. I'm not even gonna say new year because it's so it's much more important than just a year into a new decade. And I felt the need to talk about this topic because I was feeling myself kind of go into a fear of change type of situation where it's like, damn, I don't even want to get out of. I don't want to. I don't want to leave where I'm at. I don't want to. I don't want to. I don't want to get uncomfortable. But really, in all honesty, in order for you to win, you have to get uncomfortable. It's weird. It's weird as hell. But it, you really got to get out of your comfort zone. You really got to snap out of your shell. You really got to do some shit you felt like you would never do in your life. You got to talk to people you probably would never talk to on a regular basis. But it's just the way of the world nowadays. And, and we have to adapt to it. Because even the world is changing. We're about to go to war. <laughs> and it's not even funny. Although they said that they don't have no problems with... Nobody but Trump and the people that's in charge, the officials, whatever the case may be. We still have family members that's fighting in war, that's doing all types of... Nobody was thinking about, oh, we're about to go to war in 2020. The start of 2020, we're going to war. It's a change. You have to adapt to everything. And even with the war, a lot of things in our environment, the societies, we got to be prepared for what's about to happen. It's a lot of shit that's about to change for a lot of us. And, yeah, that's a good comment. You're too comfortable. You're not challenging yourself. I feel like that's... That's important too. You have to challenge yourself. You gotta top your you gotta top your greatest achievement. But now let me not necessarily say that, right? You don't have to top your greatest achievement. But you have to continue to achieve. And you gotta you gotta carry out every task like it's gonna be your greatest thing that I feel like I set a bar high for myself. And I'm and I, I, the only reason why I'm bringing everything back to myself is because I'm me. I'm, I'm able to, to talk from a personal experience. And whether you relate to it or not, I just want to give you a brief overview of what made me come to this point. It's like, 
if you achieve something so great, and I know a lot of people in here have the same, a lot of our minds are the same. You achieve something so great in your life, it's like you can't move backwards. You you can, but you don't want to. You want to go above and beyond whatever it is that you've done that got you the most recognition, that got everybody to like you, that you please everybody, your whole family's excited for you, and you want to always be able to be, you want to go high. You never want to. You know, you, nobody ever wants to come down off the, I'm not even going to say a high horse, but off that high that you've been at, right? And for me, I felt like last year I was at a good high. And this year it just begun. That's why I can't be so hard on myself because I know that the year just started. So it's like you got to cut yourself some slack. Man. You, a lot of these, like, niggas is just going back to work. So I can't really be too mad. But still, at the same time, I just, like, that's not enough for me. I feel like every day I should be doing something different. I started getting back in the gym. I just started, I'm about to start reading again. Just getting my mind right. That helps me. It, it helped me develop the, the urgency to be uncomfortable. And when you get comfortable with being uncomfortable, you're unstoppable. And no, I didn't take that quote from nowhere. That's some shit that just came to my mind. When you're, un- when you're comfortable with being uncomfortable, you're unstoppable. Because at that point, you can do anything in the world, no matter what it is. You just got to face whatever. It don't even got to necessarily be a fear. It's just anything. Just adapt. You got to be able to adapt. Just like going to a new school, going to college, getting a roommate. If, we, if we're able to do all this shit, we should be able to adapt to change. Um... Even though I haven't talked about no conditions, no symptoms, no none of that shit. A treatment to metathesiophobia is to overcome the fear of change. And the only way you can do that is to go outside. If you stay in the crib all day, go outside. If you scared to to go above and beyond and get a raise at work, start going above and beyond. Just put yourself in that mindset that... If I don't do this, it'll never happen. Basically, if you if you if you're not if you're not boisterous and you don't you don't express yourself and you feel like a lot of shit goes over your head and people don't respect you how you need to be respected, you gotta take initiative and start speaking. Cause my don't get fed, and that was another problem with me. Like I said in the beginning, I'm kind of like, I'm not antisocial, but I don't really talk too much. Like, if I don't know people, like, in, in a lot of situations, I don't really talk much. If you know me, you know I don't talk much, unless I'm really comfortable with who I'm around. But a lot of situations, I wouldn't, like, a lot of shit just doesn't bother me. So I wouldn't be so opinionated in, in certain scenarios. But, and the person that helped me a lot with this was my girl. Because she is one, she's going to speak her mind. And I kind of admired that about her. And I kind of picked up on that habit. That's another thing that helped me get out of the... That was a fear. Let's say, let's, let's say it was a fear of mine, right? And I was able to, to change that. And with doing that, with me voicing my opinion and just being vocal with anything that I feel I need to speak up about, it's helped me way more than it's hurt me. It's helped me way more than any prior events, any prior situations. I was able to really, like, grow... Just by using my voice. That's just a simple thing. Something that simple. If you're scared to... Whatever you, whatever your fear is in terms of change, you got to just wake up one day and face that fear. Because if you don't, you're always going to be stuck. In whatever place you're in right now. And unless you Bill Gates or Oprah or just a nigga or a woman in... The greatest place they feel they can ever be, then you don't you don't have to adapt to change. You got it all figured out. But if you're not where you want to be in life, and you feel like you need to do more, and you need to to strive and be more, you have to adapt to change. We all have some type of fear of change. Every day is life changes, and if you don't really get out there and really take life by the fucking choke it and really like control it while you can then it's you, you what what are you doing you're not even living you just alive in real life and I'm not talking to, I'm, I'm talking to myself while I'm talking to y'all <laughs> in, in, in all honesty I'm really talking to myself while I'm talking to everybody here because 
I was one of them people. Like I said, I just moved to Georgia. I just moved to the A. I'm a rapper. Do you know how vital it is to be outside in Atlanta as an artist? I got to do mad shit that I do not want to do. But you know what I'm going to do? It. Unfortunately, I got a few calls, meetings and shit. And I can't be on here for too much longer, but... Once you get comfortable with being uncomfortable, you're unstoppable. Don't be fair change. I'm, <laughs> don't be fair change. Don't fear change. I'm not even going to try to be some quotable nigga. Just, we can't fear change. And if y'all want to dig deeper into this this situation, the name of this topic is metathesiophobia. M E T A. T H E S I O P H O B I A. Metathesiophobia. And from now on, with Mental Health Mondays, I'm not even going to do the symptoms and the treatments and the statistics and none of that shit no more because this is not a class. This is a forum, like I said in the beginning. This is for people to speak. I just This is my first episode back in the new decade, the new year. So I didn't really have anybody come up here and talk about anything. I just wanted to get this point across. Because I felt like this was a change for me in general. You feel me? Mental Health Mondays, going live every Monday is a change for me. Because I got to do things that I don't want to do. I got to study topics that I might not necessarily know about. But I know at the end of the day, this is something I want to do. I want to be able to help people get over certain things. I want to be able to tap in with my community and whoever's tuned in with me. And let's have a relatable conversation. Let's have a relatable Let's talk about relatable topics because these are things that everyday people go through in their everyday lives. So, yes, metathesiophobia is a real thing. It's the fear of change. Let's not fear change. Let's change the fear. And go outside and attack shit and do what we got to do and keep it going. Love.